Previously on Paper Mario. Oh no! My, my frying pan! Hey, you thief! Curses Mario. A shy guy stole my dictionary. Mario will most likely go to Shy Guy's toy box next. Where on earth is Shy Guy's toy box? I have no idea. Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Paper Mario. Uh, unlike I said at the end of the last video, I did not go out and do Chuck Quizmo stuff, but I will be doing that at the end of this chapter. So do not worry, there will be a nice little trivia mashup going on. But anyway, we have a bigger problem here. Uh, a lot of stuff is going missing in this town, and nobody seems to know where the Shy Guy's toy box even is. So we have to maybe find it. I saw them! The scoundrels! Shy Guy just went into that empty house right there. Do you suppose, could that be the Shy Guy hideout? Uh, it could be. Well, this house is empty, just like she said. <gasps> oh no, it's Mario! Hey, come back here. Hmm. Perhaps if we eavesdrop on them, that'll give us some information. Secret passage. Okay, you room, what secrets do you hide? I think this might be the toy box. Well, let's do it. Chapter 4 Trials in the Toy Box. Well, guys, I think we found it. This does look like a toy box anyway, so I think we're on the right track here. Usually I work here at the blue station, but since there's no train, I'm pretty much unemployed now. No. Don't worry, maybe Obamacare... Oh no, I'm not gonna go there. Welcome to the blue station! Um, unfortunately I can't take you to the other stations. We have the station, the tracks and everything, but the train is missing. Hmm. Well, that sucks. We can't go anywhere. We'll have to uh, figure out their problem. But first... Star piece. Let's do some exploring now, shall we? That sounds like a good idea to me. Oh god, we have a Shy Guy. And Shy Guy's toy box. Who would have figured? I know, it's like a crazy notion, why would they have a freaking Shy Guy in Shy Guy's toy box, but here we are. Here we are. Shy Guys aren't too bad to take out. They have uh, 7 HP. They have two attacks. They have a jumping attack and a charge attack. The jumping attack does more damage, but I feel like it's uh, easier to dodge. Charge attack is kind of awkward to dodge, but it does less damage, so if you get the timing there, you'll be taking even less. Thankfully, though, we have the damage dodge, which uh, does give our timing window a little, uh, a little extra leeway. Is it dodge? Damage dodge, or is it dodge master? I don't remember. Also, I have a nice little black shy guy here. Let's talk to him. Hmm, what do you want? Get away from that treasure chest, pal. It's mine, see? Don't mess with me. Yeah, let's not fight him. He sounds very creepy. Good, you're a smart boy. That is an optional boss of the game. We'll get to him much later. For now, let's kind of ignore him. Because we have more Shy Guys here, we have Groove Guys. Groove Guys are kind of annoying. They don't do as much damage, but they do have status inflicting moves, so we want to look out for them. 
right. And they can also reinforce with Medi guys. These guys do the least amount of damage, but they can heal, so we want to get rid of uh, all the other people first. Theoretically, you would want to go for the healer first, but I mean, if he's weak, it might as well take away his fighting allies first. I believe that's the only shy guy, well, without batches anyway, that you can actually prevent getting damaged by. Keep moving. In here we have a coin, and that's about it, really. <laughs> what are these shy guys? Ha oh, they have a lot of stuff. There's that calculator from earlier. And yeah, they do run away, so... Oh! Okay, thank you, Merle. I'm surprised the curse is still here, actually. Oh! I open my big mouth and the spell runs out. Of course. That's such like me for that to happen. Okay, we got Rofe's calculator back. Now let's see what else we can grab. We can grab a fire flower, a mushroom. Uh, these yellow ones are actually looking pretty intriguing. Let's go for them. So when we destroy those guys, we get Cake Mix. Cake Mix is one of the most used recipes for uh, Tasty, so uh, you're going to want to come back here and grab as much Cake Mix as you can. And whenever you destroy these guys and leave the toy box, they will come back, so you'll have like an infinite supply of Cake Mix you can just return to grab whenever you want. Uh, we will have to come here a lot though, like I said so much cake mix in the world today. But again, this is why you have partners like Cooper and Bonnet who can actually uh, hit multiple foes at the same time and they're strong enough they can essentially take them out in one attacking round. Which is what we're going to want to amount to at some point. Also, we're full? Let's get rid of that mushroom, man. We don't need that. Jeez, I can't believe we're already full on items. Speaking of items, I'll go ahead and show this off. Around here, I believe there's uh, some items for us to... Yep. A fright jar, which I don't really want, and we also have a mystery. I'm going to go ahead and quickly show what this does, if I can use it now anyway. Basically, it's just like a mixed bag where anything can happen whenever you use it. It could be like a sleepy sheep, it could be a star rain, it could be whatever. But for now, I think we're going to explore the other side. We have the calculator, so we have one of the items we can get. Oh, what's this? It's Kami Koopa. A clubber? <laughs> oh, I can't wait until Mario gets here. He's gonna get beaten bad, he'll probably start crying. Then King Bowser and I will laugh and laugh. Come get it, Mario. <laughs> So, remember those peach questions we, uh, answered before? Yeah, that's what happens. They basically, uh, put the weaknesses that Peach gives to Bowser. And you could be clever about it and, uh, pick the items, which is what you're supposed to do. But I went for the enemies because I think experience is going to be more valuable than those items, in all honesty. So, uh, that is what I was doing there. I wasn't intentionally picking the wrong, the correct option or anything like that. I meant to pick the, the wrong ones. Also, new enemy, we have the Sky Guys. You can also target the balloons, and if you knock them down, they'll become regular Shy Guys. 
which I think is what you want to do, because I think they're more powerful in the air, or they have, they have some ability in the air, which makes them harder to dodge than the normal shy guy. I want to test that theory really quick. Yeah, it's kind of hard to dodge those. But, another thing is that um, whenever you jump on the balloons, you don't do any actual damage to the Shy Guys, so... You almost want to knock them out while they're in the air. You get more attacks that way. get any extra star points though, which is kind of what I was hoping for. Uh, we oh yeah, already grabbed that. There was a star piece there. No, oh, we'll cl well, first. Oh, just a coin. Not worth it. This might be worth it though. Thank you. This is going to be a good item right here. It's a Thunderbolt. I really don't want to throw away one of these, but I'll go ahead and throw away my Dizzy Dial, I guess. Hello, Mr. Clubba. Can I actually still do this, or do you have to, uh... They're supposed to give you a conversation right there if you talk to the club up, but I went ahead and skipped it. <laughs> you can't just walk by it and grab the chest, you have to have that little combo. Basically, this enemy is unavoidable. Unfortunately, clubos are kind of at that point where they won't really give us any more experience. And there's a storeroom key. Uh, but, to be fair, if we picked the Goomba, which was the other choice, we would have only gotten, like, one option. Like, we would have only gotten, like, one experience. Maybe not even that. We would have probably gotten zero. Because Goombas are so weak, they don't really do anything anymore. Okay, well, now that we have some items, uh, I can probably go back to town. It's not like there's much we can do here anyway. We need that freaking train to be there. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to pay a visit to Rof, and then we're going to heal because we have been damaged quite a bit. And then we'll go pay a visit. Actually, the store's right there, but eh, I'll get it on the way back. This will solve some of our problems, but not all of them. Hey, buddy! Isn't that my calculator? You're telling me you got it back from the Shy Guys? Yeah, in your face, Shy Guy! I can open my shop again! Oh man, how can I repay you? I know, take this! This is a special badge, bud, so use it with care. It's the I Spy Badge. A sound and icon alert you to a nearby hidden panel. So that's how you find all of the hidden star piece panels. Dad says we would have gone out of business if we hadn't gotten that calculator back. We can open the shop again, all because of you. Thank you, mister. Well, you're a good kid, so thank you. Yeah, so uh, we can actually uh, buy badges from there again, which is good. I like that thought very, very much. It pleases me so. I 
In fact, let's actually see what they have on market today. Oh, wait. Do I have to wait till after the chapter, or... Was it because I went inside? Yeah, okay, it was because I went inside a house, not out, out of the area. Okay, uh, double dip, that's still there. D-down pound. Yeah, let's get jump charge. Jump charge is a very good one. We can also grab double dip. Yeah, I have to buy them all anyway. Might as well get that one too. Uh, before I do anything else, though, I want to see if uh, they give any others. No? Okay, I guess... I guess you have to completely leave the area before they showcase any new badges, because I feel like there should be a lot more offered at this point. Well, that's fine. I don't have any room to equip any badges right now anyway, so... Let's, uh, go ahead and open this storeroom. Ahem, <clears throat> um, Mario, please don't open the storeroom without my permission, alright? Huh? Hey, you got back my storeroom key. Oh, thank you, thank you. You saved my business. Tell you what, take anything you like from the storeroom. It's just a little thank you for getting my storeroom key back. Aw, thank you. Uh, before we do anything else, I want to check a few items. Namely, the cake mix. And probably the strange leaf, too. Anything else? I'll go ahead and put that repel gel in there, too. Because we're gonna get some items in here, like a snowman doll, a vulture room, and a toy train. Hmm, I wonder. Also a dizzy dial, but eh, I don't like dizzy dials. They're just not very helpful items, in my opinion. I mean, they're good every now and then, just to kind of, like, phase your enemies if you have them, but... Honestly, you get some better star powers that I think work more often. Also, let's put the toy train in the toy box, because I think that'll actually... Yeah, it'll actually make it bigger. There we go! There's the train. Which means we can actually explore more of the toy box. Which is what we want to do. We want to explore the toy box. Uh, we can't go to the red station, but we can go to the pink station. So we'll go there first. Yahoo! We're back in business. This train just dropped out of the sky and onto the tracks. Public transit's up and running. You can use the switches in front of the train to choose the train's direction. Have you figured out which way you want to go? Please tell me again if you're sure that's the way you want to... Yep, it is. Let's go to the pink station. We're leaving! All aboard! Okay, here we are. The pink station. Also, if you haven't figured it out, there's one of these in every station room, so keep that in mind. Also, what's this? Ooh, a mailbag. I approve, I approve. That belongs to the post office, so we'll have to get that back to him. Oh god, a hammer bro. I don't like the look of that hammer bro. Bro. Aw, oh, dang it. Okay, that takes care of that. I believe over here we have a badge. The Defend Plus Badge. Decreases the damage that Mario takes by one. I think that's actually the second time we've gotten that badge. It's one of those badges that, like I said earlier, it stacks up the more you add. So, essentially you can take two less damage if we equal two of those. 
Okay. How do we get over here? I have a feeling this door has something to do with it. Aha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Ice Power Badge increases attack power against fire enemies by two. Uh, that really won't help here as much. There are a few fire-based enemies, but that's going to be very handy in the next chapter. Let's see if I can do this again. There we go. Okay, so these are Hammer Bros. Uh, they're actually quite dangerous. They have a few abilities that can actually stun Mario in a very significant way, so you want to get rid of these guys as soon as possible. Uh, we'll probably have to see an ability. I don't know for sure, though. Nope, we got him. But we do get a lot of star points for that, though. A lot of experience. Also, there's Tasty's frying pan. But yeah, I believe uh, the Hammer Bros, they have one attack that's like a barrage of hammers. And they have another attack that'll actually... Uh, uh, it can make Mario small. And when he's small, he I think he does less damage or he takes more damage. Something like that. Probably does less damage. So, yeah, Hammer Bros, they're... They're a force to be reckoned with, basically. You want to look out for those guys. 